guys, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a um, makeup tutorial for you guys because you guys have asked for this. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys my new favorite makeup routine that I've been doing. So it's very summery, very glowy, very bronze, very just, it has summer vibes written all over it. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Most of the products that I'm talking about are drugstore, so you can pick them up from the drugstore. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. So first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face with the Spotlight Primer. This is from Physicians Formula. Um, you guys have asked me what I love about this, and I love the shimmer payoff that the primer has so it's going to give your skin a very nice glow i'll wear this if i'm not wearing any foundation at all i'll just slap this on my face and it gives my face a really pretty glow but when i was in the shower i actually exfoliated my face so when i want a really smooth look on my face i will go ahead and um, exfoliate before i put my foundation on because that's going to give a really nice smooth application so i use the coconut coffee scrub from saint ives i've been using that for about a week now and i love it so so much so i went ahead and exfoliated to get all the dead skin off so that my foundation application goes on a lot better so now I've primed my face. This does not do anything for color correcting, but it does give your skin a very nice glow to it. So that's what I love about it. And that's what you want in the summertime. You want healthy, glowy looking skin. So the next thing I'm going in is with the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. So this, I actually went up a few shades. I'm in LN4. Um, I was in LN2, but I run outside and we've been going to the pool a lot. So I've been getting um, some more color on my face. So I needed to go up a shade. So I'm just swiping it on my face and then I'm going in with a damp beauty sponge. I use the Real, Real Techniques beauty sponge. So it does the same exact thing as the beauty blender, but it is a heck of a lot cheaper. And I really do like the coverage that this foundation gives. And then you want to make sure you're blending in with your neck guys, because it's not cute if you do not blend here. So that is what I am doing. Okay, so here we go. So now my foundation is on and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Tarte Shape Tape because I'm trying to finish this up. Um, I will use the Maybelline Age Rewind sometimes. So this is one of the few items that is not drugstore. You can get this at Ulta or um, Sephora, wherever Tarte is sold. I will go ahead and just do three dots because I don't want to cake my concealer on, but I also want to highlight my nose. I want to highlight my forehead. Um, but I don't like doing the swipey triangles anymore because it just cakes on the concealer, especially with this Tarte concealer. If you did the full blown triangles with this stuff, it's going to cake up under your eyes. So I don't do that triangle formation with this guy because this is a heavy duty um, concealer and I don't want to be walking around with um, cake face. So I'm not about that life. So just going in lightly to go ahead and highlight under my eyes and I'm going to highlight under my down my nose and I'm going to highlight my forehead. So now my concealer is on and no, no, there's nothing here. Okay. So concealer is done. So I'm just going to quickly dust over a little bit of powder, a little, little bit, just the spots that I had concealer. So I can go ahead and set my concealer, but I am not going to powder my whole entire face because I want that glowy dewy look. And you're not going to get that putting um, powder over your whole entire face. It's going to make your face look um, dry. So if you want that, glowy hydrated look skip the powder so next thing i'm going to go in with is my forever favorite this is the butter bronzer by physicians formula this is hands down my favorite bronzing product of all time and i love that we can get it from the drugstore so this is definitely a gem so if you have not picked this guy up you need to so i'm going to go ahead and go in with a real techniques brush and just kind of contour a little bit nothing nothing perfect. So just go in the hollows of your cheeks and kind of make like a 
this formation down because you want to go ahead and get your jawline as well. And when you contour a little bit of your jawline, it makes your face look thinner too. So just, just a little tip. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to bring that up to my forehead as well. So I go really light with my bronzer and I basically just try to make it as natural as possible and create what the sun would naturally do if I was out in the sun for a long time. This is where the spots would hit my face if I was in the sun for a long time. So that is the look that we're going for. So I'm just checking in my mirror to make sure that I didn't go too crazy. Okay, so now we are bronzed. Now we look like we have been laying out by the pool all day long, but no, no, the secret is in this bad boy right here. Oh, tropical, tropical vibes, tropical vibes. Okay, so then I go back in with my um, powder brush. I'm not adding any more product, and I just want to blend everything in because I don't want a lot of harsh lines with my contour, and I just want everything to kind of blend together, so that's what I'm doing. Here we go. Now I just want to add a little bit more of the bronzer onto my cheekbones because I want more of a bronze golden look. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to my cheeks. Just like that. Yay! And then to the apples of the cheeks, I'm very lightly going in with the Butter Blush by Physicians Formula and this is in the shade Rosy Pink. And I'm just going to do a little dab right at the apples just so there's a little bit of rosiness so it looks like i said i want it to look like we have been out in the sun all day but we really haven't um and then also i'm going to go ahead and use my spoolie brush of my physician's formula brow last long wear brow gel i'm just going to comb through my brows i'm not sure if i'm going to put the product on today i might at the very end but i'm not sure yet so i'm going to check in my mirror to make sure we are all looking good. And I'm just gonna blend this back in. Yes, yes. Okay, so now on to some of my new favorite products that I have been loving. First one is the, the CoverGirl Vitalist Glow. This is a, a luminizer, but it is in a bronze shade. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. This is just so, so gorgeous. So you can mix this in with your foundation or you can mix it in and do kind of like a, like a cream highlight because that's exactly what I am going to be doing with this. So I am dabbing it onto my cheekbones. I'm going to do it on the other side. And then I'm going to bring it on top of my eyebrow and my nose. And this is just gonna give a nice little bronze, bronze highlight to the face. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with something that I recently just picked up, like literally just picked it up on Sunday and I'm loving it. And it is the Vitalist Glow this is actually supposed to be a cream highlighter, but what I'm using it for is cream eyeshadow. So when I do like a dewy, glowy, summery look, I wanna go in with cream eyeshadows. I don't wanna deal with um, powder eyeshadows when it's super hot outside. So that is exactly what I'm doing. So this is the number three. I'm not sure what the color is called, but this is number three, if you can see that. Number three. <laughs> So this is what the cream shadow looks like right here. It is just a nice champagne bronze type color and that's exactly the look I'm going for with this whole entire makeup look that I'm creating right now. So I'm just gonna put a little bit onto my fingers and add some to my lid. And this is the perfect cream eyeshadow, you guys. You could do this as your highlighter. You could also add it in as a highlighter, but I'm doing it as cream eyeshadow. Makeup products, you can use one makeup product for so many different things. You could even do this in like the center of your lip if you wanna give your lipstick a little bit more of a glowy look to your lipstick. Um, if you wanna add some shimmer to it, you could also you know, use this, what it was originally made for, you could use it for a highlighter if you want, but this is just so good as a cream eyeshadow, you guys. 
I would highly recommend you pick it up and use it as a cream eyeshadow because it is beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can see. Isn't that just such a pretty eyeshadow color? Yes. Yes, it's so pretty as eyeshadow, you guys. Oh, I love this look so, so much. Okay, so then I'm also going to go in with the Vitalist Healthy Glow. This is the number four, and it's more of a bronzy color. So this is them side by side, so you could use this as your lid color, and then you could define your crease with the darker bronzer shade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lightly add this onto the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna go in with my Beauty um, sponge again and I just want to go ahead and add this on top of the other highlight that I added just to get add a little bit more bronze to the look because like I said I'm going for a very sun-kissed beachy goddess type look is what I'm going for we should make this fun and you should take a drink every single time I say glowy take a drink every single time I say glowy because I'm sure I've been saying that a lot um, during this video <laughs> so then last but not least let's go ahead and add some mascara so I have gone back to my favorite my tried-and-true Mary Kay the ultimate mascara there has not been one mascara from physicians formula that I like I hate every physicians formula mascara let me know if you guys are also not a fan of the physicians formula mascara because i sure as heck am not so i'm just gonna go ahead and add a thin coat of mascara okay and then I'm going to skip adding brow product because like I said, I want to make this as natural as possible. And then the final touch to this look is going to be something that is not drugstore, but it's something I'm loving so much. It is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Pink Light. So this has uh, pink shimmer in it. So it's basically um, MAC Fix Plus, but it has some shimmery components. So I'm just going to spray this. I should have done this before I did my mascara. That is a tip. If you guys use finishing sprays, do this before your mascara because it's probably going to smudge my mascara. Watch, it's going to smudge it. Okay. Yep. See, it did it right there. But here's a tip, wait until it has dried and then you could flake it off with your um, Q-tip or any type of paper product. Don't, don't smudge it away right away because it's just gonna make it worse. So don't do that, wait for it to dry and then it's gonna fleck off once it's dry. So there we go, so this is the look. So I'm gonna wait until it flecks off. A fleck off mascara. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look that I have created, and I think it came out really well. This has been the makeup that I've been wearing nonstop, and it just makes your skin look very healthy. You look very hydrated, you look very young and fresh, and you look like you've just been laying out at the beach or the pool all day, and it really didn't take a whole long to do. I'll just slap on some chapstick and call it a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this little makeup tutorial for you guys. You guys asked me to do these all the time so I thought I would go ahead and share a very easy one with you guys and share something that everyone can do with you know drugstore products so definitely head out to CVS this week or next week and maybe try some of the covergirl products that I mentioned um, these were new to my store the vitalist um, glow these were new to my store so I just tried these out on Sunday I just bought them on Sunday so I've been incorporating them with this look that I've been doing um, this week and I'm absolutely loving it so I highly suggest these as cream eyeshadow um, I definitely suggest the CoverGirl Vitalist Glow Luminizing Lotion. Definitely um, recommend this guy. I'm forever going to recommend the Butter Bronzer. Um, I forever am going to recommend the Butter Blush. This is great. Like all these, all these products are Physicians Formula and I absolutely love them. So out of this look, I use one, two, three, four, five Physicians Formula products. You guys know that I just absolutely love Physicians Formula. 
And then the other products I used were um, CoverGirl. So in the summertime, I really don't like to use heat products on my hair. I don't like to blow dry my hair. I don't like to um, straighten my hair all that much. So I've really been liking just kind of utilizing the natural texture of my hair. So I've been doing that with the At The Beach Sea Salt Hair Mist. So I actually got this stuff from um, Bath & Body Works. So I will spray this when my hair is wet and then kind of scrunch it. And this is, you know, what it's left with. So if you have a little bit of texture in your hair, I highly recommend this guy. It doesn't leave your hair crunchy. My hair is very smooth, very soft still. So it doesn't have that like crunchy feeling that some of the other um, like mousses and other curling products may do to your hair. So yeah. So along with this kind of beachy makeup look, I'm kind of going with like a beachy hair look as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it so I know you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.